children welcome back to your math class i am your math teacher jivita so till uh, the last class you are learning subtractions yeah you will be continuing with subtraction in this video also today we will be learning subtraction of two digit with carry over okay or with borrowing they also tell it as regrouping so you know here we have numbers 76 minus 19 so this is horizontal subtraction how will you write it in vertical one below the other so let's write this in vertical form 76 minus 19 so now let's start finding the answer so first i have 6 in one place So let me take six blocks here. Three, four, five, six. Totally, I have six blocks here, and I have to take nine blocks out. So how to take it? I'm taking one, two, three, four, five, six. I can take only six. So where is the the others? You still have seven, eight, nine. So I should still take three blocks out. But I don't have three blocks here to take out. So what we should do? So I keep back all the six and tell you what to do now. So here nine is bigger than six. In that case, when you have a small number up and a big number down, in that case, what we should do is we should borrow one from your neighbor. Borrow means to take from. So six will go to seven and ask, please give me one. So what will seven do? Seven will give one to six. Seven will give one to six. And now what six becomes one six sixteen. Now seven gave off one two six no so seven becomes six because seven minus one is six. Okay, so now I have sixteen minus nine. So let's count sixteen. I have six here. I should keep ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, totally, how many blocks I have here? Sixteen blocks. Now, can I take nine blocks from the sixteen blocks? Yes, absolutely. So, let's take off. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I took off nine blocks from it. So how much is remaining here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is remaining. So my answer here is seven. Now let's go for this. This is tenth block. So I should take ten strip. How many strips I should take? Six. One. Two, three, four, five, and six. So I have six tens block here. So how many should I take off? Only one. So I'm going to take off one stick. So how many are remaining now? One, two, three, four, five. So five tens are remaining here. So my answer is five. So totally, how many blocks are here? Five tens, seven ones. That is fifty-seven. That is my answer. So same thing. Let us do in the test book and practice. So all of you, please take your test book, pencil, and the eraser. So test book page number one thirty-two, exercise four point eight. First mean find the difference. Difference means subtraction. So you can see the first one. First, we are taking from ones place and then tens. So here ones, 
you have 6 minus 8. 6 is small number. 8 is big number. So you have a small number on the top. So what should you do? You should go to your neighbor. Ask 1 from him. So 4, when it gives 1 to 6, what 6 becomes? 6 becomes 16. What will 4 become? 4 becomes 3 because it gave 1 to 16, no? So, so now 16 minus 8. Do you have 16 fingers to open? No. So let us draw 16 lines. That is also very clumsy. No place only to draw. So I'll teach you a new tactic how to count in your fingers. See, you have 8. Okay, 8 in your mind. And then count after 8. Till you get 16, you will count. After 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So how many fingers are open? 8 fingers. So that is my answer. Or else you can also do like how you are doing in the earlier sum. 16. Backward counting also you can do. Before 16 till you get 8 you should count. Okay. Before 16, 8 in your finger. Because you have 8 here, 8 in your finger. Before 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. You get the same answer. Okay. Whichever is easy for you, you follow that method. So now 3 minus 2. This is my fingers and count. So this you can open your finger and close. So 3 fingers open, 2 close. You get 1. Okay. So 1 is my answer here. So let's do the second one also. You have 1 tens. A small number on the top, big number on the uh, bottom. So we have 2. Borrow. So 7 will give 1 to 3. So 3 becomes 13. 7 becomes 6. Now you can do subtraction anytime if you feel like. First one is 13 minus 4. How you do? You can keep 13 in your mind and start opening your fingers till you get 4. Or keep 4 in your mind. Uh, no, first method is better children. So, key, uh, 13 in your mind. 13 in your mind. 4 on your finger. Because till now you have been practicing this method only. So, you can do in this method only comfortably. So, 13 in your mind. Before 13. 12, 11, 10, 9. So, my answer is 9. Now, 6. Minus 5. This I can do even by fingers. 6 fingers, 5 close. So 1 is my answer. My answer is 19. Other 2, I want you to try those. So this sum. So this sums, if you don't write the working here also, it is okay children because we don't have place. In the classwork part, it will be given to you. 74 minus 27. So... 4 minus 7. When you, can, you should write like this. 74 minus 27. And then do. So borrow because I have a small number on the top. So 14 minus 7. 14 in the mind. 7 in your finger. Before 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. So my answer is. 7. Next, 6 minus 2. 6. Close 2. So, 4 is my answer. So, my answer is 47. Similarly, 60 minus 46. 60 minus 46. 0, small number. So, I should borrow. 6 gives 1. So, 0 becomes 10. 6 becomes 5. Now 10 minus 6. You can open 10 fingers and close 6 fingers because it's easy. Answer is 4. And 5 minus 4. 5 minus 1, 2, 3, 4. So only 1 finger. So this is answer 14. Similarly, 
let's do the second sum here. 86 minus 69. Again, I have small number on the top. So, let's borrow. So, 6 becomes 16. 8 becomes 7. Now, start counting. 16 in your mind. 9 in your finger. Before 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, and 7. So, answer is 7. Now, 7 minus 6 is 1. So, the answer here is 17. So, I want you to try the other three sums. Don't do the working here. You can do it in your rough book and write only answers here. Okay. In any doubt, if you have, we will get it clarified in the interactive classes. Now, we will meet you in the next class. Till then, thank you. Bye, children.